Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add a custom footer to your blogger website. So this is how the footer is gonna look. We can see that we have these different sections over here. And at the bottom, we have the copyright information and also the social media icons. And this footer is also responsive. So if I just make this a bit smaller, here we can see that uh, as we decrease the width of the screen, we have the footer sections being adjusted. And if you cross a particular width, we can see that there are two sections in one row. And this design can be suitable for smaller devices like tablets and so on. And if I decrease the size of the window even more, we can see that there's one section in a row. And we have this design for mobile versions. So this footer is completely responsive. Now I'm going to show you how to add this to your blogger website in this video. I have already created a video on how to design this footer from scratch using HTML and CSS. So if you haven't watched that video, you can go ahead and watch it. I will leave the link in the description of this video. Alright, so let's get started. This is the blogger website where we're going to add the footer. And right now we have the default footer by blogger. So here you can see we have this text powered by blogger and uh, we have this uh, copyright info over here. So this is the default footer that comes with Blogger and I'm using a theme that comes by default with Blogger. So if I go to the dashboard and if I go to theme, here we can see that I'm using a theme called Emporio. So this is the theme that I'm using. And now let's go ahead and edit our theme and let's add our custom footer. So the first thing you have to do is click on this arrow and click on edit HTML. And the next thing you have to do is delete the current footer. So for that you can just click on this button called jump to widget. And just select this widget right here called attribution. This is the footer. So let's click on this. And here we can see we have the footer section and it's called B section class footer. And now we can just fold this footer over here. So you can just click on this button right here. And here we can see the footer. So let's just delete this. Now this is not just one line of code. It is the whole footer section. But we have just folded it. So that's why we can see it in one line. And let's just select this and let's delete this footer. Right now the default footer is deleted. Now let's add our own custom footer. So I'll just make some space over here. And let's go to the source code. And here we can see the code for our footer. So I'll just select everything from here till the end of our footer. So till here. And I'll just copy everything and paste it over here. Right now we have copied the HTML of our footer. And there are some more changes that we need to do like we have to change the links of these images over here. But we will do that in a minute. But before that let's go ahead and add the CSS. By the way you can go ahead and change these details over here. So you can go ahead and add your own email ID and your phone number over here. You can go ahead and change these sections to whatever you want. And you can also add new sections by just copying this list item and pasting it down or above. And you can also delete any of these list items from here. Right now let's go ahead and add the CSS. So I'll just scroll up and let's find all the CSS of our theme. So this is all the CSS. So let's scroll down and let's go to the end. Now this is where the CSS ends. So I'll just go ahead and make some space. And I'll just add a comment. So I'll just type footer. And let's go back to our CSS and let's copy the CSS from here. So I'll just go over here to style or CSS. And let's copy everything from this line of code, the footer. And uh, let's go till the end. And I'll just copy all the CSS and paste it over here. Right, our CSS has been copied. Now let's go ahead and click on save. And here we can see we have this error at line number 5430. Let's go to that line number and let's see what's the problem. So let's go to 4530. So here's the line 4530. And we have this problem over here with the ampersand symbol. Now whenever you have the ampersand symbol in an XML file, you have to also add ampersand AMP semicolon. And now this should work. So let's click on save. And we can see that the code has been updated successfully. So let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now let's scroll down. And here we can see that the footer is being displayed over here. But we have some issues that the images are not being displayed and also we have some problems with the colors of these headings. So let's fix them. First of all, let's fix these colors. So I'll just right click over here and click on inspect. And here we can see we already have some styles in the theme itself for the S3. So here we can see the S3 has a color of black. So let's go back to our CSS in the theme and let's change the color of the S3. 
So here we can see we have footer container S3 and here I'll just type color and we'll set it to white and let's save it. And now we can see that the color is fixed. Now let's add the images to our footer. So let's go back to the theme code and if we scroll down, here we can see for the images we have this link images slash the image name. But in our blogger website we don't have this folder called images and we don't have this image as well. So this image is not working. So what we have to do is we have to upload this image somewhere and we have to get the link of the image and paste the link over here. And we have to do the same with the images in our CSS. So if you scroll up and if you go to the footer CSS here we can see that there are some links for these images. So we have to change these images as well. Now there are different places where you can upload the images. One of the examples is Google Drive. You can just upload the images to Google Drive and get the link from there and add it over here. But I'm just going to add the images to a blogger page and I'm just going to get the link from there and paste it over here. So I'll just open the dashboard in a new tab. And let's go over here to pages. And let's create a new page. And we won't publish this page. I'll just name it images. And here you can go ahead and click on insert image. And then just click on upload from computer. And here you can click on choose files. And here I'm in my project and let's go to images. And these are all the images. So let's select all of these images. And let's click on open. And let's select all the images and let's click on select. And let's click on original size and OK. Now here we can see all the images are uploaded. Now here I'm in the HTML view. So if you go to the compose view, you can see all the images over here. But you have to go to the HTML view to get the link. So let's go over here and go to HTML view. Now all these images are in divisions with class of separator. So I'll just make some space between these images so that it'll be easier for us to copy. So I'll just make some space over here between each of these divisions. Right now let's copy the links. So here we can see the first link is categories icon.png. So I'll just copy this link from here. And let's go back over here. Now the categories are here in these headings. So these are in the CSS. So let's go back and here we can see this is the categories icon. So I'll just delete this link from here and add our updated link. And I'll do the same with all the other images. So let's go over here and the next one is contact icon. So I'll just copy this from here and let's go over here. And here we have the contact icon. So I'll just delete this and paste our new link. And then we have to get the services icon and the quick links icon. So let's go back. And here we can see we have the quick links icon. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here. And let's go back. And here's the services icon. So I'll just copy this. And I'll just paste it over here. Right now let's scroll down and paste the links of the images inside the HTML. So these are the three images, Facebook icon, Twitter icon and Dribble icon. So let's copy them. This is the Facebook icon. So I'll just copy this and I'll just paste it over here. And uh, let's go over here. And uh, here we have the Twitter icon. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. And uh, here we have the Dribble icon. So I'll just copy this and paste it over here. Right now let's save this and see whether it works. And let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see the footer is being displayed over here and all the icons are displayed and everything looks all right. Let's check the responsive version. So let's decrease the width and even the responsiveness is working all right. Let's check out the mobile version. And this is how the mobile version looks. So everything looks all right. Let's open one of these posts and let's see whether the footer is being displayed. Let's scroll down. And here we can see that the footer is being displayed. Now one last thing we have to fix over here is that we have some space over here after the footer. So we have to remove that. So let's right click over here and click on inspect. And we can see that it is a division with a class of page. And for the page division we have a padding bottom of 1 em. So we have to remove that. So we have to set the padding bottom to 0. And now we can see there is no spacing. So let's copy this selector from here. And let's go back to our template code. 
and I'll just scroll down and go to our CSS and here I'll just type dot page and we'll set the padding bottom to zero and let's save it and let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now we can see there's no padding at the bottom and everything looks all right let's go to the home page and let's scroll down and we don't have any problems over here as well so everything looks all right so that's basically how you add a custom footer to your blogger website and i do have a video on creating this footer from scratch using html and css so if you want to learn how to create this from scratch you can watch that video and i will also leave the link of the source code in the description of this video so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day